Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, making some really good trades, and yep, Bitcoin is now at 47,976, once again, holding these levels for the time being. Now we definitely want to be careful because we have a big Fed announcement tomorrow, the FOMC meeting, if you guys don't know what that is, it's when the Federal Reserve comes together and meets and discusses about interest rates and what they're going to be doing for the foreseeable future or you know just the upcoming months about what they're going to be doing with monetary policy but right now you know they're they're quite in the quarter they're in the pickle you know and inflation's very high so on and so forth i will cover most of this on my my sunday stock analysis which by the way we're going to have a special guest this Sunday we're going to have my head trader that I've been mentioning every now and then who people who have still not figured out who it is in the discord <laughs> right it should be obvious by now he pops in every now and then doesn't talk much but when he does it's always a good time anyways moving on we are now at 47,984 Bitcoin once again holding these levels holding this uh, this green support box right here as we can see for me nice bullish divergence right here on the shorter time frames on the one hour but now we really want to be careful as we do have some big federal news coming out tomorrow for you know the markets so we'll just see how they react and how they digest this news you know we can see we have a 12 right now on the daily time frame on the weekly time frame looking like the money flow is starting to decrease a little bit but obviously it is the stock market so there is a lot of <laughs> money inflow in there but for bitcoin right we could see that today we had you know, i mean sorry yesterday technically we had a red dot we did come down to 46,400, but now we didn't we didn't go any lower than that and now we have another green dot right here now are we going to get a nice reversal back up towards the upside are we going to trend back up and retest this line as resistance or are we just going to keep dropping? Was this the, a consolidation before our next drop? Right now, these are the million dollar questions, or I should say, I should say billion dollar questions because a million dollars nowadays is not even that much money <laughs> considering how much has been printed and how much is in the market. So yeah, we are now underneath this major trend line. Are we going to come back up and retest it at 53,000, 54,000, depending obviously where our touch point is going to be. You know, the longer we take to touch this line, if we ever come back to it, the higher the price is gonna be. But, you know, we do have a lot going against us now. We have the EMA ribbons coming back down to 51,300. And we've seen before, once the EMA ribbons get crossed over like this it's 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 likely we are going to trend downwards for the foreseeable future now that doesn't mean i'm bearish long term on bitcoin we could see once again the hash ribbons right here not signaling any capitulation yet right we still may only be up about eight percent on our spot by right here from this buy we haven't capitulated yet we haven't rolled over obviously you know we could see we had a great run we went up to 54 pr percent uh uh profits right here if you would have taken some profits along the way good for you you would have made some great gains but for the time being i'm still holding my position this was a great reaccumulation in my opinion we're at seven percent right or eight percent depending on market market prices but yeah we're just gonna have to see patience is key patience is on you know time is on your side you don't want to rush into anything and i still believe in lengthening cycles for the bitcoin cycle for obvious reasons you know i <laughs> you can see that every for the cycles that we've had so far the and, sorry lengthening cycles and diminishing returns so we can see that every cycle we've been extending the cycle from 371 days to 518 days and now we're you know maybe we're going to reach 700 days right doesn't mean we're going to have a blow off top by the end of the year on december you know we are december 14 today a time of recording and this should be i mean it's 31 days in a month so i guess there's 16 days left or sorry 17 days left in the in this month so you know you do the math we gotta we gotta do seven we need to rally you know from 47,000 to 250 thousand dollars which is like a 369 percent gain gain they're actually that's only to 220,000, but still you get the idea, you know, rallying from there and just 
you know 17 days is quite unrealistic in my opinion and you know we obviously want to stay realistic on this channel I, I may offend some people when I say this but you know this just facts and if you don't like the facts then you can leave then <laughs> you can watch it another video or you can leave a dislike <laughs> or leave me a comment whatever you feel like anyways right now I'm going to be looking for some shorter opportunities if we have a small pump towards the upside but right now I'm still holding an, a new short that I opened on the on the yes uh, this sorry the Dow Jones and expecting a drop in the market according to the the Fed's meeting tomorrow but uh, we'll, we'll just have to see what they have planned for us because right now they don't have many options left inflation's high right Omicron is getting worse what are they gonna do I know what I know I think I know what they're gonna do but let me know what you guys think in the comments okay anyways I hope you guys have a wonderful day make some really good trades and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Next one. If you haven't already, you guys can use my BitGet link, get $630 in bonus and a 10% deposit bonus once you make your first deposit. You guys have been awesome. We're at 6,500 subscribers. Once we get to 10,000, we're gonna do our next giveaway. Which, by the way, if you have watched all the way to the end, I'm gonna be sending out the payments for the, the giveaway that we just had on Sunday. Yeah, sorry it took so long, but I have a lot of stuff to do. I have you know business to do business to run and have a full-time job so you guys know how it is patience is key all right peace guys